I grew up in Petersburg, Virginia, and I attended Peabody High School, which happened to have been the first African-American high school in the state of Virginia. And we had a home economics program there, and I was always interested in home economics, so I attended that high school. In HA, we had a club and a, you know, group. And our teacher was very good in making sure that we had meetings. Uh, we met, I believe it started at first once a month. And at that particular time, we did a little bit of everything. You know, it was leadership, how to uh, act as a, a meeting, you know, in a group. And it was leadership and all different type of things there. Activities first we did, of course, was in the classroom. So we would take the things that we learned in the classroom, we would take it to projects that we worked on in our club. We called it the Home Economics uh, Club and, um, at that time. And we did projects like, um, well, we first started out working something for the home, uh, something for yourself. So that, therefore, we learned to cook, we learned to sew, we learned to make things for other people in our family. Uh, I remember making a little corduroy soup for my younger brother. <laughs> and uh, you know, it was, he, matter of fact, he wore it to Sunday church, so it was very special. My mother was very proud of me. Uh, we also cooked because, you know, I was the only girl in my family of three, ch you know, three children. Uh, I learned to cook, starting naturally at home with my mom, but continued in the home economics program. So I would get the meals together, you know, started in the evening when I get home from school in the afternoon, because my mother did work, and so I would get started, and she was very proud of that. Well. The high school organization shaped me into what I wanted to do in college. And my mother and father said I had to, I lived in Petersburg, Virginia, so they didn't give me an option of what school to go to. They said, you're going up on the hill. We used to call it up on the hill to Virginia State. And um, naturally, I wanted to go into home economics at that time. And home economics here at Virginia State was, I thought it was going to be a very easy program, but it, it turned out to be a little different, which I enjoy and love. But I found out that we did, where well, we took classes and courses in all types of things. For example, I had foods, I had uh, clothing, textiles, uh, where we had to take a lot of science. And I didn't know that the time that I was registering, you know, I didn't look at the whole catalog to see what was in, you know, you know my future. But I learned to do so many things. We always had this motto, if you majored in home economics, you could do anything. And that's what happened. And I ended up being a home economics teacher. I moved to, at that time I got married when I graduated, moved to uh, Maryland and uh, ended up teaching in the Prince George's County Schools, public schools in uh, Maryland. And I taught home economics for my first 20 years, well, 15 years of, of my teaching field. Well, it's just by luck. Uh, I don't know, they didn't have my name down for NHA, uh, but everybody that was in home economics, he, even here in, at Virginia State, automatically we worked with the home economics uh, with NHA. Uh, matter of fact, I did go, I forgot to tell you, I did go to one of the conventions in um, Missouri, and that was very nice. But uh, your question, I'm sorry, I missed that. Um, just what, what were your thoughts about coming here tonight? What did you oh, think? Then. This was beautiful. Uh, I have recently, bought, we bought a home in Chester, Virginia, so I'm going to become more active with the agriculture. Well, the only thing that I kind of regret it, uh, but you know, it's just that information probably hasn't gotten out. We don't have too many things about, you know, too many uh, displays or information out on the table or even in the program. 
about the new homemakers of America. For example, some of the things that, uh, you know, pictures and, and uh, you know, just lots of different things. So hopefully, you know, I'm going to be happy to work with them because I know I can pull up some information. I didn't know about this until three days ago. So I'm just lucky to be here, but I'm so happy that they still had a vacancy for me to, uh, to attend. NHJ has really molded my life. I mean, it's, it's a program that I would love to work with the agriculture, even though, you know, agri everything now is under agriculture, but it is very important that we continue because I have a farm and my husband has a separate farm. We always, agriculture is just so important. So we want to continue working with agriculture and I also would like to work with the college, the alumni, you know, here at this college.